I'll need to check that to hit contact. Okay. Time off. Um, we've got a TMO check, okay? One second. Bridget, could just feel it. I read 10, yes. So I can see it, meets, it is a high tackle and foul play. Um, it meets the yellow card threshold. So it's going to be a yellow card to 10 red and an off field review. And that's correct. Yeah. Number 10. 10. Yellow card and off field review. Bridget, could feel it. Gets a yellow card in the first two minutes of this game so connected in a chase line that's why they're making such strong tackles defending in threes and then in that way forming up a good line integrity in their defense clean ball down for Moyano who plays it on to Baronio and oh Argentina they're backing their hands but they should not have because it's been nicked away charging in under the bar Corbalaze look at Corbalaze I guess the first try. And you just saw red, but what a great hard working Georgian team. They've just been relentless in the way that they physically getting closer and closer. Will this wall break now? Kova leads a trick play to the front. Did Georgia hold on to that? Okay. Almost looks like they caught themselves by surprise. They're over the line. Last ball is held up. Battolini. The hooker, Paul Marcentina, getting his body between the try line and the ball. Not aim to hold on for Palizzi. But at the end, that's a picture Holly Davidson saw. Up it goes, Georgia powering forward, Argentina need number in position, but Georgia coming for the corner! Corner leads it! Two tries to the good. Lelos. Easy game for Kutic Vili. Three more points on the board. 17 points to nil. Georgia lead. Zigauri, that ball slightly slower than he would have hoped for. Way to Kutic Vili. And finally, they make a handling error in possession. It has been 12. tremendous rugby from Georgia today. Oh, Georgia bringing beautiful brutality. Number 12. Uh, just raw prawn, bashing the way down and dominating that contest. The collision is what they have bossed the whole day. And that has given them so much opportunity against an Argentine side that it looks disjointed and how they try to put their attacks together. They're not getting any luck. And the carries and the players just not connected. It gives our Georgians clear space to run into, but still, if the man is in front of them, they're dropping shoulder. Not a difficult game to manage for Argentina here. Yeah. But brilliant work from Georgia. Petre Kutishvili raises the flags once more. The score is 20 points to nil. Georgia lead over Argentina. Konolidze breaks early and he looks like he's lost control of the ball. Picked up by Argentina, Giudice breaking from deep. And here's Soler, Soler. What a player he is, Soler. Endless energy from the fullback. And Argentina running from deep. Chopped down was Lucero. And a penalty to Georgia. 
the indomitable Georgians, who continue powering forward with Aptiauri. Oh, he's been chopped down by the ankles. The Georgians with the desperation. Going to the pocket. Referee Holly Davidson has seen enough from Argentina. Infringement after infringement. And there you go. Disjointed, dejected and demoralized by the Georgian effort today. Argentina, can they defend their line once more? Held up. Yes, clearly held up. No. Clearly held up. That is the final whistle from referee Holly Davidson. The last effort from Georgia stopped and held up over the line as Nicolas Ragoevi could not dot the ball down. But that matters little to the side that is dressed in red today. These Georgians attending only their fifth tournaments, having a debut in 2016, having won just seven of their 20 matches, put win number eight on the board. And what a crucial time to do it as well. Pool C is wide open italy south africa argentina and georgia head into the final day's group play not knowing who it is that will be progressing to the finals competition